Yo, what's up, broskies? Welcome back to my Radical Terraria Let's Play. Today, we're just swagging, as usual. Dripping and chilling. Corking it up a little. Uh, you know. Being silly. In general, a weirdo. A little bit wacky, even, maybe. Tomfoolery, especially. And maybe, just a little bit of trolling. Welcome to the comment board. First off, we got local hot milfs. First. Good job. Jelly the Skeleton. First like. Nobody can stop me from being first. I like the determination. Big Bird Bard. First dislike. Interesting. McCall and Ray. We must stay strong, brothers. Brimstone Elemental has me acting up. Welcome back. I am going to admit something. I broke down, and you know what I got? Uh, we did a little bit of Louis AFK. I have not used it. However... <laughs> that was not what I was going to say. I wanted to make this a handy dandy arena builder. Because if you don't know, and I don't know how you wouldn't know this, you must be stupid. Calamitous is uh, on the menu for tonight, to say the least. A bit concerning. Why is there a sticker on my desk? And I'm not talking like the sticky kind, like you just like slap it on and it's, it's like My Little Pony sticker or something. No. I'm talking like the sharp one you find in the grass. They stick to you and they hurt, you know? So how does this work? Oh, I probably didn't need to make three of these, did I? Oh, I see. I see. Okay, okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Right? Yeah, well that's a little bit odd, isn't it? I'm definitely capable of building an arena by myself, but why would I do that? I don't really see the point in taking the time to like build a platform. I mean, I know I, know I can do it, and I know that's like... I said Lua AFK is cheating like last episode, and generally the cheater mindset is usually something along the lines of, well I know I could do it, so I might as well make it easier on myself, right? That's what cheaters say. I'm not really making a good case for myself here. Um, what I'm saying essentially is, uh, be quiet. My guilt about feeling this is cheaty does not outweigh my laziness, I suppose. It does not outweigh my want to not have to make a platform on my own. I don't even think you guys actually care at all. I think I'm the only one hung up about this. Because I'm pretty sure everyone else uses Louis AFK, and I'm the only one that's like, Oh no, I can't do that, right? Nobody cares that I'm using this to build a platform, right? Okay, well... Great. Watch it! Excuse you? <laughs> hmm, interesting. Oh no! Oh no, oh no. That's... <laughs> Uh, well, it's certainly not a flawless mod, is it? We're going to ignore that. I'm going to assume whenever the platform builder intersects the edge of the world, it glitches the game out. Fair enough, I suppose. How do I make this eye again? Eye of desolation, correct? Yes. Don't have any hellstone. Okay. I don't have any obsidian. I'm just poor, aren't I? Architect, quick, I need to cope. Dryad, why are you invading his house? In fact, where do you live? You live right here, what are you- okay. The party girl can sit in her own house. Don't really get what the problem is, but you do you, I guess. Okay, Eye of Desolation. Are y'all ready for the easiest boss fight in history? Because it's probably not going to be. Okay, so this could be a little bit dicey. In fact, it probably will be a little bit dicey, but I've got my runway, so hopefully we'll be chilling. Oh wait, one more thing I should do. I forgot about this. I did actually buy all the materials from the tinker here to get the Ankh charm, and then I forgot to actually make it. So, whoopsie daisies. Kind of an important thing to do, but uh... You know, that'll be 12 defense added to my name, which is very good. Arcane. That was what the shield was before, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Alright, so this should be good. I just want you guys to know to prepare yourself for one of the best boss soundtracks in this game. It's going to be a little bit wacky. Thank you for that. Okay, this is a lot more different from whatever I remember. Okay, um, that boss has changed a lot since I last did it. Like, a lot. Um, okay, so they made the boss fight harder. Doable. I think probably the Valkyrie Ray is going to be the best thing for this fight because the Gleaming Magnolia does not seem to be able to hit it. And the Ion Blaster honestly doesn't do that much damage. Let it be another go. Okay. A dash would be nice. Okay, buy possessed armor. Yeesh. Okay, uh, goodness gracious. What a fight. Alright. Uh, so, as you can see, once it gets to the last phase, it just starts dashing at you and does not stop. Oh wow, look at that. I don't know, I, I can't even tell what that is. Yeesh, the knockback on this is... Well, it's insane, apparently. Uh, yeah, that boss fight got harder. Goodness. And look at all of that. Reduce max HP by 50, but improve life regen. I really don't think that's worth it, I'll be honest. I, like, I don't... 
see how that's balanced in any way at all. Anyway, we got Lashes of Chaos. Finally. Balls. But more importantly, we can make the Art Attack. Which is like Rainbow Rod, but better. And that's really about it. Oh yeah, um, from Flame Cal and stuff. Whoops, how did I forget that? Oblivion would be nice. If I were doing a yo-yo playthrough, but I'm not. Well, that's a fun boss fight anyway. I like how they made it more like the actual Calamity boss fight. Calamitous, or whatever. Sorry. On the upside, we now have... Ah, I guess I can't make Void of Extinction. Maybe later. Now I got Ashes of Calamity. I need some rubies from you. Thank you. Big thanks. That fight gave me a lot of money, okay. No problem. And with this money I shall... spend it all. There we go. And yeah. I'm gonna get rid of the Ion Blaster. I'm gonna be honest, it's a little bit underwhelming. Sorry. So, is this any good? I don't know. Not uh, lingers, I guess. Used to make the Helium Flash. Does 6,026 damage. Okay. More importantly, can I make this? Oh no, I need the, uh... There it is. Big Ruby. Now I can make it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man. It disappears really quickly. What does it do? Cast a star shape that follows the mouse that creates a rainbow trail as it moves. Once a full shape is created with the trail, all enemies within it will take damage proportional to how long it took to draw the shape. <sighs> okay, well that's complicated. I guess this would be good for like... Oh wow. I can't see it being good for like... I don't know, a boss or something? Maybe a groups of enemies or something? I don't know, I guess I can try this out. I need more ashes anyway. Okay. Well, you know what? Not happening. Oh well. Um, that's a lot of platinum. Okay, let me just sell my soul. I should have enough unholy cores left. Yeah, I've got plenty. Okay, never mind. We're good. Let's see here. More magic damage. Reduces damage from touching lava. Okay. Uh, increases mana by 70. Mana uses by 10%. Immunity at odd fire, brimstone, flames, and frostburn. Okay. I imagine the set bonus is going to be kooky or something. Let's see. Grants an additional 15% magic damage and crit. Press F to trigger a brim flame crit frenzy effect. Under this effect, your damage is significantly boosted. However, this comes at the cost of rapid life loss and no mana regen. Hmm, interesting. And that's on a 30 second cooldown. Okay. Gotcha. Say goodbye to like 150 health, I guess. Honestly, I would say like the only viable magic weapon for that fight is the Valkyrie Ray. Unless there's like a vanilla weapon I'm forgetting about, but the Valkyrie Ray is like pretty good. Anyway, up next, Plantera. Yo boy. Okay, I guess I can prepare for that. I gotta find a Plantera bulb. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. I can get chlorified, can't I? Oh, I don't really need it, do I? No, not really. Okay, whatever. Jungle time, I guess. Why? What is with the birds in that house? All the time there's birds. I don't really get the obsession with that house in particular. Guys. Okay, problem solved, I guess. Oh, okay. That's just right there, isn't it? There's one right there. What the heck is going on? I don't know if Plant Terra enrages. If it's not like the Cavern Lair jungle or not. I, I think it might have to be Cavern Lair. I don't know if she likes just like the regular underground, so... I'm being cautious right now. And there's two bulbs like right here, so... So, as far as Plantera goes, 
Out of all my time fighting her, I've noticed generally, as far as an arena goes, uh, verticality is more important than horizontal movement, so having a tall arena helps a lot in being able to actually like circle Plantera. That's my advice to you. Why did I just level up in melee? Man, once I beat Plantera though, that's the next stage of the game, baby. I mean, that opens up so much stuff. Weapons, especially. And, you know, Golem and all that stuff. But, like, post Plantera, that's where the grind session starts, because then I have to go get Ectoplasm. Which is not entirely fun. Or Life Fruit, thank you. Now, this is the easy part with Louis AFK. Just get some platforms. Oh, yeah. No problem. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Dynamite does magic. Gleaming Magnolia might actually be really good for this fight, because in like an enclosed space like this, it's pretty good. Since I'm going to be looping the boss around anyway, the projectiles should have no problem hitting it. Alright, well that's all I really need, so... Uh, nothing's stopping me. I like the little invisible light sources on the map. Those are nice. House enabler, sure. I don't see any reason to hold off. It's not like there's anything else I can do at this point. And, uh, yeah. I hope y'all are ready for this. I really... come on. I'm gonna end up having to make a bigger arena, aren't I? Ugh. Alright, well, uh, arena expanded a little bit. A bit more breathing room. I would love to say that this is good, but I honestly have no idea. I guess we'll just have to see. Plantera's not gonna know what hit her. Uh, I'll be honest. Not gonna know. Hello. Yeesh. Okay. Plantera's down. And of course, as soon as that's over, the archers come in. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm outta here! All in all, uh, 
Not super difficult, I just needed to actually focus on taking out the things surrounding it since it began to get so close to me. It was really helpful to get rid of all the uh, little vine things that kept trying to bite me around it since it was sticking so close to me. They're really hard to dodge if I got too close. Uh, but once I got rid of those, it actually wasn't that bad. Oh yeah, Missile Storm. I should get that. Uh, but most importantly... Temple Key, who cares about progressing the game? More importantly, Living Shards. Oh, I need that to make the Spectre stuff. Okay, interesting. Anyway, what I'm saying is I can make the Terror Ray now. And I have a Leaf Blower. Which might be good, I don't know. Essentially the Terror Ray is like whatever I just had that I just put up, but better I think. And how do I make that? I need to put the thing back in here, okay. But yeah, as you can see it does take the Valkyrie Ray to actually craft it. So now we've got a Nasty Terror Ray. Which I'm hoping is not a downgrade. No, looks good to me. Reforce that to Mythical, why not? Cast an energy ray that splits into energy on enemy hits. More energy is created the farther along the ray the hit enemy is. Right. So basically just kind of combines the crimson and regular knight's ray. I call it regular because, you know, that's just how it is. Corruption's the OG. We all know it. But yeah, if we look at the chat, we'll see screams are echoing from the dungeon, the desert sands shift intensely, energized plant matter has formed in the underground. It's a lot of things, so I'm thinking that means perennial ore. I don't know about the desert thing, but I know the dungeon now has ectoplasm. Which, we actually have a lot of magic weapons to go through now. Once Planetary is defeated, there are tons of magic weapons. And Leviathan is up next, and that's concerning because I don't know if I can fight Leviathan on this world. Uh, and I'll show you why. But as you can see... Um... This is a Sulfuric Sea. I don't know why it is, but apparently whenever my game was transferred from 1.3 to 1.4, it turned both of the oceans into a Sulfuric Sea. If worse comes to worse, I'll probably just have to fight Leviathan on another world or something. I don't think it's essential to actually progress the world along. At least as far as I know. I'll worry about that later. And not a problem right now. It's gonna be a problem, but not right now. I wanted to test out a few of these weapons, just see how they do. Leaf Blower. Leaf Blower actually is really good. And Terror Ray is unsurprisingly good. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Finally good at dodging, guys. Can you believe it? But yeah, Terror Ray is actually really good, especially for this part. Shreds them. So yeah, as you can see, Terror Ray is really good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I keep making a lot of progress per video. That's just how I roll. No dilly-dallying here. We only keep it fun and interesting. And the only fun part about this is the bosses, honestly, but, you know. So leave a comment if you would like, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.